morning, Dorothy. Good morning. Are you enjoying your vacation? Oh, yes. But I'd enjoy it more if I knew what my husband was doing. Don't be so suspicious. Maybe this is from him. It just came. Oh. Just what I thought. Listen to this. Please don't think me a meddler. But ever since you left home, your husband's life has been jarty after another. That doesn't sound like Leon. No? Well, you don't know Leon. I'm leaving on the next plane for home. <laughs> Play. Oh, no, no, this is, you misunderstand, this is kind of a busy deal. All my clients are here, I'm trying to, trying to sell them something. Looks to me like you're on the buying end. Yes, yeah, no. Now, look, let me explain, will you? You can do all your explaining to my lawyer. Well, how can I explain Now, wait a minute, just cut. Hello, Boots, you want to play? Now, hide your face. Go hide your face. That's a good girl. Now, wait a minute. Now, I'll find it. I'll fetch it. That's a good doggy boots. How do you do? Is this the Errol residence? Yes. Will you give this letter to Mr. Errol, please? I'll wait for an answer. Very well. Will you come in and sit down? Thank you. I beg pardon, sir. I beg pardon, sir. Well, what is it? A letter, sir. Letter? Yes, sir. Well, I can't read it now. I'm all wet. Very urgent, sir. Urgent? Well, read it to me. Very well, sir. Dear Leon, yes. this will introduce Professor James, an old friend of mine. As you know, there are absolutely no hotel accommodations to be had, so I'm asking you to put the professor up for a few days. Sincerely, Joseph T. Hodgkins. Sir. Oh, dear. Everything happens to me. All right, put the professor in the spare room. The spare rooms all have sets, sir, besides the professor. Well, all right, put him in Mrs. Errol's room. In Mrs. Errol's room, sir? But the professor's a... Stop arguing and tell the professor dinner will be served at seven. But I'm trying to tell you, sir, that the professor... Get out of here! Very well, sir. I think you'll find us quite comfortable, miss. Thank you. And dinner will be ready at seven. Thank you. You telling my sister, you creeping Casanova? Now, wait, 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 wait. There's been a terrible mistake. I love your sister. I mean, I love my wife. Well, you certainly have a fine way of showing it. Well, give me this down. I'll never look at another woman. Well, very well. We'll forget about the whole thing. And remember, 
this ever happens again, I'll break you into so many pieces you'll look like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, and I hate jigsaw puzzles. So long, sis. Bye, dear. I mean, there's a so long. Well, I think I'll go upstairs and freshen up a bit before dinner. Oh, by the way, we have a professor visiting with us, and he's occupying your room. A professor, huh? That's a new one. Oh, so you don't believe me. Jameson! Oh, I beg your pardon. Haven't we a professor visiting with us? No, sir. Huh? I mean, uh, yes, sir. See? But, uh, oh, you'd lie and Jameson would swear to it. I don't believe either one of you. Oh, I would. But, 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 but the, uh, the professor's having a nap, sir. Well, what are you winking at me for? What? Come on! <laughs> You and your suspicions. This is one time you're wrong. Professor? Professor? You wait here, I'll see if he's finished dressing. Oh, Professor? Professor? Yes? I thought... It... Good evening. Uh, you're Mr. Errol, I presume. Yeah. But who are you? I'm Professor James. Oh! I hope I meet with your approval. Meet with my approval? I say you certainly do. Maybe. Hey, Aunt, can I come in now? No, do you? Do, do. Oh, not, not now, dear. The professor isn't dressed. Oh, but I am. I. Shh. Hey, listen a bit. There's been a terrible mistake. I was under the impression that you were a man, you see. Well, my wife, she wouldn't understand. Oh, well, of course. She'd explain everything. <laughs> You don't know my wife. We gotta get out of here, but where? The window, come on. Wait, 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 I'll go, but first I gotta change back to my street clothes. Go on, here. Hurry up, boy, get out of here. I still gotta get a professor. How? Where? The window. Call me? Yes, come on up here. Climb the trellis. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. I'm getting too old for this second story. Wait. I'd like to make 50 bucks. What do I got to do? I need a professor and you're it. 50, 20, 40, that's 50. Now look, you're Professor James. Professor James. Hey, don't let my wife talk you out of it. Oh, no, no. You got all of us. Good. But you don't look like a professor. Oh, well, I ain't. I know that. Come here. That does it. Now, you sure you got it? Oh, sure. Fine. Thanks. That's all right. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, dear. Mrs. Errol or Professor James? Hi, Tips. <laughs> it's nice having distinguished visitors in our home, for a change. But, uh, well, should we go downstairs? Dinner is ready, madam. Somebody start eating, go upstairs and get that girl out of here. Yes, sir. What are you a professor of, Professor? Well, uh, the, the history. How nice. Yeah, I got quite a record of uh, uh, the history. I was uh, just getting the hair out of my eyes. Which one? <laughs> you mustn't mind my husband. He has idiosyncrasies. Well, that's all right. I had him too. The doctor cured me. Come 
ready, miss. I'll sneak you out while they're having dinner. Oh, don't bother. I've decided not to leave. I'm sure I can explain my presence here to Mrs. Arrow. You can't explain anything to the madam. Oh, this whole thing is childish. What's that noise? Hey, it must be the hot water pipes. Yeah. I never heard the hot water pipes make that kind of a noise. Just, well, so, just, just a minute. I'm, uh... Up here. Uh, I'm uh, 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 trying to kill a spider under the rug, madam. <laughs> a little little devil. Oh, a spider's that terrible thing. Well, right? forget the spiders and come downstairs where you belong. Yes, madam. Excuse us for running out on you, Professor. Oh, that's okay. I didn't want your soup to get cold, so I ate it. Uh, oh, well, thank heavens that knocking stopped. It had me worried. Yeah, me too. There it goes again. I didn't hear anything. Maybe the place is haunted. Hmm. There's someone in this house, and I'm going to find out who it is. Here we go again. Oh, James, what, what now? Uh, the, the, uh, the door was slamming, madam, so I, uh, I came upstairs to lock it. Well, it all looks very suspicious to me. What, suspicious because the door slams like slam, slam, slam? I gotta get the door fixed. Shall I fix it now, sir? Right now. No. No? Go down and serve dinner. Yes, madam. Pardon me. Uh, the professor's waiting there now. Come on, think of your guests. Be a good little hostess. I went to the kitchen and helped myself. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, no. As long as you save the bones for the dog. Oh, sure, sure, sure. You must think we're awful the way we've been acting. Oh, you don't have to apologize to me. I'm used to being around crazy people. You're too late, Jameson. Just as I thought there is someone in this house. Now what? Tell us, sir. I am Harry. Tell us. Oh, yes. Uh, I, uh, I have the key if I can open.
in that bundle. Hell, all right, you fucking horn, Romeo. Where's that girl I saw in your window? What? The girl? Just as I thought. Open that bundle. Oh, now, wait a minute. I, I can explain everything. I can explain. Leon! I just, uh, What's the meaning of this? Well, uh, I was... <laughs> Oh, that I uh, would... Well? Uh, well? Well, I was taken out to get it clean. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. L.J.? Lemon juice. Well, now what's your excuse? Well, I was his I could... Uh, Maybe you uh, can think more clearly after you wake up. Yeah, but I'm not going to sleep. I... Now I lay me down to sleep.